Good morning, everybody. It's 11.36, so it's still morning. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I was talking to my mom today. She reminded me uh, of the way she used to do pancakes with garlic and minced garlic, minced onion. Or Sorry, not pancakes, but uh, mashed potato type pancakes. We're going to use the mashed potatoes. Um, we're going to crush them into the butter, garlic, uh, and minced onion. And it's gonna be really yummy. I'm gonna go get butter real quick so I remember. And uh, let me flip this around so you can see what we're doing. Oh, and I made tea that I need to steep while we're doing it. And I'll show you how I do uh, my minced onion and garlic. One second. The tea we're doing today is Rest and Restore uh, Adaptogenic Herbs, Reishi Mushroom, and Cocoa, which you've heard me talk about on the video game streams. It's a nice little cocoa tea. Let's try to make it look nice. There we go. Um nice as we can. So we have the garlic here, and I'm just going to use uh, I'm sure we're not going to use more than half an onion. I'm going to use the smaller one here. To make that process easier, you can actually find the butt of the onion, cut off the other one um, to make it flatter when you cut it in that first cut, but again, I'm an animal and I don't care sometimes. Um, but you'd typically cut the top off of the onion to make it easier. But you eventually do have to cut the top off because it makes it easy to peel. Make sure you have your trash can right next to you. You can clean all this up. And then I'm gonna cross Cut a cross section into the onion first. And we're gonna do that to about, actually all the way to the butt. Cause I, I always do that cut and we're not doing any like roasts or anything. We're all having it thicker than that. And then you cut just straight down, um, not, not cutting through the butt because you want the butt to hold it all together. But you just cut this way, and this will make it easier for uh, for the mincing part of it. And I'm doing pretty thin slices here even, because again, it's going to save us time after the fact. So I don't know how that happened, but typically the butt holds it all together. And then you just cut uh, the opposite way you just did. You can get really, really thin, really nice. I'll show you this way, I guess. And I guess this can be my official onion cutting tutorial, but it can also be a mincing tutorial since we're gonna try to get it thinner. I don't even mind keeping them this thin and just having them a little more whole, to be honest. But we'll do it the traditional way Mom mentioned. But yeah, nothing like a thin cut onion, you know? <laughs> nothing like it. Um, I'm gonna just do that amount. That should be good for what we're doing. And then with mincing, typically, you're using the weight of the knife and you just go through like this. And you want a knife that can rock and roll. So get one that does the devil horn symbol that I do all the time, just to make sure it's a rock and rolling knife. A 
proved by Lucifer. For all your rock and roll needs. And this is, uh, is kind of how it's done. We got this bigger piece, but I'll just drop through it this way. So I'm trying to find a good angle to where I can get all of it in one go. I actually probably should spread it out more. But yeah, you just rock it. And then clean it off the knife once in a while. And then keep rocking it. But yeah, we're getting some pretty thin looking pieces. Make sure with onion you're always using a sharpened knife. This one I meant to sharpen before you did all this, but oh well. Sorry, T. Um, yeah, like that. That's how it's done, folks. And now we've got the onion base. It looks pretty good. There's some chunks in there, but we'll we'll get over it. I'll go through it one more time. Two more time, three more time. For some reason, I just remembered a dream about Justin Bieber I had. I was hanging out with uh, him and his buddies, because one of his buddies was my buddies that I knew in school. you're doing well, Justin. You seem to be. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put this in a bowl. Yeah, we'll use one of these plastic ones. I usually don't eat out of plastic or use plastic and I don't recommend you guys eat either. Stay away from it if you can. So there's a lot of onion, but it might be just what we need, to be honest, to be onionist. I don't know, we're reaching for jokes here, family. But we are eating a little sooner in the day than we ate a lot yesterday, so I take that as a, as a definite win. And we're doing this video live because why not? Why not? I think our tea should be steeped. Oh, I can taste the cocoa. With garlic, I just cut the ends off like this. Oh, and there's two in that one, or maybe three even. And you can peel it right then, but probably don't. Wait one second. Then you can crush the motherfuckers like this. And then the skin comes right off. You just peel the skin off. Like so. And then repeat on these guys. Well, you know what? Do we need this much? Oh, frick. Make sure your sink's clean. Mine's clean. I just cleaned it. In these old houses also, you can, uh, you can't really, houses built in 1950 in Tucson, you can't really let any food products go down it. So I recommend every month just flushing, uh, 
flushing the sink with hot soap and water. Just seal it, fill it up all the way, and then let those pipes clean out because there was an instance where uh, one of my roommates had poured just shit tons of rice down the drain. And then I was there fixing things as I do with shit all over my arms and hands for, you know, four hours because of what he did. Trying to find the uh, end of the goddamn tunnel. Anyway. See how I already got the skin off those? And I'm just crushing it so it's easier to cut, but... And typically what I do is cut, cut them by themselves. But... We don't have to do that. Let's just kind of cut it as a group. Anyway, what I'm saying is try to use the your trash to throw stuff away. Not everything belongs in the in the sink. You know what I mean, Vern? Alright, similar method. We're just gonna do this. Use the weight of the knife, have fun with it. Keep it going, keep it going. thinking about it, I'm going to turn the heat on this to about medium heat. We can always put it lower, but I kind of want these crispy and nice and yummy. And I'm going to have it cook in the butter for a little bit before we put our potatoes in. And I know I said there's no time for fried chicken, like you can have fried chicken for any meal. And so that's what we're doing again today. I have a fried chicken heating up in the oven as well. Just a chicken breast. And I'm going to make the potatoes first, and then I'm going to make some fried eggs, and then we're going to have that with the chicken and the all that good stuff. Okay. That's pretty minced. I don't care about chunks of garlic because I love garlic. Garlic and onion are the two vegetables I eat the most and care about the most. Okay. Let's flip to this angle. Ooh, gross. Ooh, sick. All right, medium heat. These are our potatoes, but I already got a bowl of them. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't know I do my own plumbing. Or my ex-girlfriend's plumbing. That wasn't a laying pipe joke. Legitimately, I was trying to save her money by doing her carpentry work and her uh, and her plumbing because it was during a pandemic when she didn't want anybody to be in the house. And I get that, but also, why do I have to do everything? Those are butter. Land of Lakes, if you wanted to know. Thanks, Graham, for the butter. Graham Smith, everybody. Your friend and mine. Definitely my friend. I actually got up. I was doing his astrology chart. If any of you people want your astrology charts done, message me. Because I'm sure you don't know your Vedic astrology chart. You might know your Western astrology chart, but... I 
been doing that for three years and usually I only do it for clients on the internet in different states, but I finally admitted to my friends that I do astrology as hard as it was coming out of the astrology closet. How was it for you guys? That's good. I'll probably make a video on this channel about it, but I didn't know how to integrate it with Love Punk, even though I think artist development includes knowing yourself, knowing your astrology, the stars you were born under. If I've learned anything in this world, it's, uh, it's how everything's connected. Nothing's here by accident, including you. Um, in fact, I'm going to do all of this in one. We'll just fold over the other ones. I wanted to save some for the other side, but we'll do all of it at once and then just put some on top of the potato after the fact. Don't scratch up your ceramic pans with metal either. I'm being very careful. Don't let your roommates scratch up your ceramic pans with metal. Or drunk friends at a party. I'm not naming any names. John Knapp. <laughs> Just kidding. I love him. Sometimes you've been drinking all night and you need to make food, and I get that. It's part of the joys of parties. The drunk food afterwards, or during. So this is how we're doing it. And you know me, I'm a wild man when it comes to butter, so... Butter to your wildest dreams. I'm gonna get some eggs out too so they're not completely cold for when we put them in here. We're just gonna do three eggs. And sometimes I even just warm them up with my hands. So there's no huge temperature difference. Hold your eggs. Warm them real good. Hold them, warm them. You know you should. So what I'm going to do is separate half of these out and then throw the potatoes on top so they cook with them. I'll show you what I mean. Maybe a little more. Here's our potatoes. I put them in a bowl and it's kind of cool because it actually formed them in one way or another. So we'll see if this works well. If not, we'll keep forming them as we go. Has come out right. Well, kind of. I'm just going to smash these boys down. Or girls. I don't know what kind of potatoes they were actually. I didn't check. And 
And there's some of that white sauce mixed in. I threw it at the bottom of the bowl. So that'll be any. That potato did not get crushed, or mashed, is what I should say. So we're doing it like that. And this will kind of cook as a potato pancake. We hope. And while that's there, I'm just gonna get that ready for the other side. And already the onions are kind of browned, so. You see how it's coming together. Make sure it's contained. I want it to be a single unit when it flips. When slash if it flips. Okay, so that already tastes amazing, but I don't think you can really go wrong with garlic and onion potatoes. I wish I had a smaller egg pan, but again, those were stolen by our roommates or completely fucking ruined, so. Um, Can you guys see that? Do you want a better view? That's how it looks. Oh no. It's a little sticking, so let's get this guy moved around here. I'm glad we checked. We're just gonna like kind of flatten as we go. Ah. Don't judge me, I'm just a brand new chef. Don't judge me, doing the best it I can. Let that live here. I'm gonna turn the heat down. I do have this giant pan though that we can use. So I know a good pan if it rolls, if it rocks and rolls all over the God blessed thing. I think we need more butter. Getting that buttery feeling. Bring back that buttery feeling. You know? That buttery feeling. You know? Bring back that buttery feeling. Now it's gone. Gone, gone, because we got butter in the pan. Everything rhymes when it doesn't rhyme. You know what I mean? So, I, I hate cooking on bad pans, but we're going to do it anyway. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to do it in sections, so... We'll just figure it out. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We kind of got a crispy coating, but I don't know. Maybe our potatoes aren't aren't digging it. It kind of looks like Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse potato. Mashed potato pancake. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm not even going to complain. I'm getting like... What is it? The vibes from... Uh, Cheesecake Factory vibes, you know? I'm going to actually take our chicken out because I'm sure it's good right now. Here's our chicken. It's a breast, so we're just going to cut it up. Enjoy it. So again, this is like the worst pan in the world, but we'll see what it does to these eggs. Nice. See how flat it is? Nice. We try. Just stack them. It's like uh, it's like that game. It's like a game show. You have to stack them, and you win a prize. If you guys want to donate to the Day Caden Knife and New Pan Fund, send some donations over to. Uh, paypal.me slash daybkaden or uh, you can cash at me as well if you like that. I prefer cash app. That's uh, cash.app slash daybkaden. I can't find the salt. Oh, here it is. So you know how I said when it, when it gets its first coating, you can cover it and cook it in its own heat. Remember I said that in the scrambled egg episode about fried eggs? No? Okay. Well, you can do that. And I might actually cover it now because I don't trust how this thing's going. I do not trust it. Again, we're dealing with a shitty pan, so... Sometimes a shitty pan gives shitty results. But we're not going to complain. We're going to roll with the shittiness. Uh, I'm sure we have lids in here. We do. See the benefits of cleaning before you cook? We're cleaning before we cook. We're cleaning before we cook. Da 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 Yeah. So that's the kind of crust I want, but again, it's sectioned. And I'll tell you the honest truth. The main reason I even wanted to eat garlic today is because I'm going to be playing uh, Resident Evil Village. And uh, that game's evil, you know? There's a lot of evil in it, so you want to eat your garlic. Especially if you're a zombie killer, vampire killer. Have you guys ever seen... Uh, Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price, where he has to like hole out in his house while there's zombies around. I have dreams about that like pretty consistently for the past 10 years, so 
I only recently did my life actually reflect that. So I'm hoping if I finish the game, we'll close out a cycle in my psyche. You know, after like watching a good movie or playing a good game, sometimes that happens. Or a good conversation with a friend. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Um... Yeah, the chicken's looking good. It's amazing how much fried chicken you have just from one chicken. You eat ch fried chicken for a week after that. Or half a week if you have it twice a day like I do. Alright, let's check these eggs. Oops, I took a pic instead of swapping the thing. Did I not change the angle on the eggs? You guys weren't even seeing how bad these eggs were. So yeah, there you go. I'm gonna turn the heat off. and take it off the heat and let it kind of just do its thing. All right, swamp over here. I'll get all this trunk out of the way. Breakfast chicken. Our breakfast potatoes. It should have been a potato pancake, but you know what? It would have looked like this anyway by the time it went down. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All our crusty got burned to the bottom. There you go, crusties. The crusty crab. Home of the crabby potatoes. They don't want to come off the pan. All right. We're calling these eggs. We're calling them. Can you see all that? Sorry. That's our plate. Final touch. That's it. Garlicky potatoes. We got our breakfast teas ready. taste test on the potatoes, but then I'm going to go watch Animaniacs. So I'm not sitting here the whole time. We're going to use our old milk cup. Bring you guessed it. Milk. If you want to add to the Decade and Milk Fund, go buy my records over at lovepunkrecords.com. Sorry, lovepunkrecords.bandcamp.com. Or... You can PayPal me tips. <coughs> PayPal.me slash Day V Caden. That's D A Y E V C A I D E N. Or Cash App me at cash.app slash dollar sign Day V Caden. You always want to eat your protein first, so, uh, one second. Goodness gracious. So I'm going to have some egg with the potato. This is the best way that I've been able to get like the egg consistency I want. And sometimes when you flip eggs, it burns them, but I like them kind of, uh, oops. I like them kind of like, you know, still moving in there. Here's our breakfast potatoes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got a crunch. 
We're killing it, folks. I'm going to see how this chicken turned out. I'm going to let you go. I'm not really going to rant today. Sounds crunchy. Here's our chicken and potatoes. Here we go. Yeah, damn that fried chicken. Holy crap. <clears throat> I recommend you go make fried chicken, fam. And eggs, and potatoes, and anything your heart desires. Just go do it. I love you.